Hey, welcome back again to Smart Depot, and today we are back to Android 11. Android 11 was officially released on September 18, 2020. Um, few Android OEMs have started to actually bring it out since then, and it's going to two months right now. Uh, so, six days after it was released, we did a video here with the first impression of every single feature that is in Android 11. So, you can check out that video right now in the cards. You also see it in the link in the description, and also at the end of this video in the end screen if your device haven't actually received android 11 and uh, you want to have it you can also check out the xda page i'll put the link in the description there are tons of custom stable custom roms for android 11 even for some older devices so let's go in and before we go in you can click on that subscribe button if you like this video and turn on the notification bell icon okay having used android um, 11 over six uh, weeks rooted it installed a whole lot of apps in fact i installed over 120 apps here uh, let's talk about the top five drawbacks that you get using android 11 even after you've actually gotten it uh, because this is actually the reason why many people don't you know switch quickly to android devices okay the first one will be app incompatibility for some important app like this 4g switcher a very important app for me but um the developer last updated it <laughs> June 2017, so it's come to the end of life for it. Uh, so app incompatibility could make you, you know, lose function of some important apps that you use. The next one is biometric, you know, login. I use biometric for Evernote um, and some other apps, but right now on Android 11, they are kind of broken. Um, even when I have fingerprint lock screen, they're not working, not just on Evernote, in my own banking app also. It's not working you usually should give you option to use your biometric to log in here but that is all gone so still talking about uh, the drawbacks of android 11 here i'm going to talk about a little bit perspective of developers android uh, google has actually removed the platform distribution from the developer website uh, but you can see it in your android studio if you have android studio you can still see the data of uh, the adaptation of uh, new android devices especially when you're building an app and you want to target some audience so this is it android 10 is still having 8.2 adaptation after one year and this is very 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 sad so the reason for this is that many developers are, are going to find it difficult to update all their apps and review things that you know about android 11 because the targets the non the percentage of people you are targeting there is really really not enough and google have to do something about this because um it's really really worrying i thought project treble would take care of this yeah project travel seems to work you know from introducing android 8 the adaptation of android 8 was way better than android 7 and then the adaptation of android 9 you know was looking good but that of android 10 is nothing but abysmal i mean it's very very poor and so this is actually another critical reason because developers do watch this thing when they want to update their app put in new features adjust their app to work with a new android version so the adaptation is slow they might actually slow down to update their apps and when you compare it to ios uh, this is huge uh, in the last four years uh, android uh, ios devices iphone devices and last four years have 92 percent adaptation and that is huge and when you compare it to android man this is very very poor i mean it's so poor that it's only just two eight point two percent that we have here the data from google so let's move on to the next one apart from in our adaptation the next one is some issues with uh, root um cts profile device being certified and some apps you know working strangely so uh, my dstv app you know works i can stream a video with it but um i can update it on the play store now, i mean if i search it on the play store i can't even see it at all i will explain the reason a little bit <laughs> so now but if i go to my you know google device certification now it shows me something that's quite interesting so the reason why my dstv app could play is because the device is certified 
So now the device is certified, but then I can't update it because somehow my CTS profile failed. So this hard inability, you know, to get things right about routing. Now there are there is a fix for my device that I have to apply to you know fix that. But you know even to root it, uh, I have to use some debugging file and, and other things. So it's still hard for someone who's not really advanced in Android. And right now I even downloaded the latest APK of the DSTV now app and then I want to install it to update the app but then the app will not update and if I use deep search at Google Play Store I will still see that my app here is not compatible but it works well so this actually summary is part of the problem that you have about root a uh, you know magic sky cts profile uh, even to root this i have to actually you know use a debug uh, you know fix and all the stuff to be able to get root to work and even at that there are still some things but i believe that developers will find a way around this and then fix it maybe probably later in the year or next year and talking about developers and what they go through <laughs> google is ending uh, daydream service the virtual reality app and so that means that once google does this right now it's going to affect a whole lot of other developers uh, that are actually building apps uh, in android so that means those who have their android uh, virtual reality experiences and sets will also be affected and then to finally round it up with developers again um this is android studio 3.1 and then using it everything just works fine i have my plugin for that uh flutter and other stuff but what do we have here android studio 4.1 and then the trouble also started coming in uh, with this android studio 4.1 my dat uh, plugin has been disabled and then not just uh, the dat plugin uh, my flutter plugin also has been disabled so what this means is that if i have built an app for both android and ios with android studio i'm not going to be able to do that now until maybe flutter or you know some of that third party company you know you know fixes that or updates their app so these are some of the drawbacks that really really affect app developers and in other words it affects the third party or the normal users of android so let me know if you're already on android 11 uh what are the drawbacks for you what are the things you miss maybe from android 10 or the older android what are the apps that you're not able to use let me hear from you in the comment section and let's discuss about it maybe find a way around this how to go about it and then hope that all these things are fixed in no distant time till i see you next time bye subscribe i see you.